Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is the state of the edge router, the Ubiquiti edge router as of July 11th, 2023. So I just had to work on one of these last night. And, and so I was looking for some firmware and I was, I think the model that I was working on, I was like, I, I think this might be a vintage product now. So that got me going down the rabbit hole to kind of see where we're at. But before we take a look at that, so are edge routers still applicable in 2023? Absolutely they are. They route packets very quickly. They can do high availability. They can do all types of dynamic routing protocols. So in the right setting, these are fantastic. They can still do NAT. They still do firewalling. All of those good things. They don't do intrusion detection or prevention. They don't do any of that advanced, you know, country blocking. Like out of the out of the box, you've seen that we can make that work. You can load uh, third-party Debian packages to extend the functionality. I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, in certain situations, it's it probably works out okay. But I typically like to let these things uh, do what they do kind of out of the box with the firmware, just kind of like I'm not a fan of the JSON file with the USG, but sometimes, you know, you can't help it. So uh, absolutely. If you need a device that can do VPN that can, you know, do NAT can do firewalling, high availability, dynamic routing with uh, OSPF, BGP, even rip this device, the edge router, uh, series will absolutely handle that. So let's take a look over at the Ubiquity website. So if you go to ui.com and you go to UISP and then Wired and then Edgemax Routing, they've got this now divided into three categories, compact PoE, mid-scale PoE, and high-capacity 10 gig. So on the compact PoE, they have the Edge Router X SFP. So that is a is an Edge Router X with an SFP cage, and then PoE on every one of these ports. You do have to use the included power adapter, and then you can see they also have the Edge Router X, which can be powered via PoE, passive PoE, and it can pass PoE out. These both do have actual switch chips in them, so you can set up switch a switch interface and not take any kind of CPU or uh, memory um, ding for doing that. Under mid-scale PoE, they've got the Edge Router 6, and then under high capacity, they have the Edge Router Infinity, which is the 10 gig router. Now, one thing that I noticed is missing was the Edge Router 4. So I did go and look at the store in a different way. The Edge Router 4 is not showing up here, but it it has you know the latest firmware, and I've seen it other places. I don't know if it's just not available, so it's out of stock, but when I set the filter, if you know this is showing everything, and you see here that the Infinity is, is sold out. So not sure the state of the Edge Router 4, so that got me even more curious. And I went over to Ubiquiti's Vintage and Legacy products. So if you remember, we looked at this a while back. And a vintage product is no longer manufactured or supported with active development, but may still be available for purchase. They will receive continuation support, including critical bug fixes and security updates. They will continue to be adoptable by management applications and are supported by official Ubiquiti customer support. So if we scroll all, all the way down, you can see that officially... The Edge Router 8, the Edge Router 8 Pro, the Edge Router Lite, which is a three port, and the Edge Router PoE 5 are all now vintage products. But the Edge Router 4 is, is missing from these, and we installed a ton of Edge Router 4s. In fact, that's the Edge Router that I run here. So, and they have released, you know, a firmware in the last uh, few months, I think, and it takes care of uh, some critical security updates, so you should take a look for that. But are you still buying Edge Router 4s? Are you still buying Xs? Every time I get a chance to pick up an X at a reasonable price, I usually grab it just because there's so many of them out there. 
that if one goes bad, we need to be able to to hop on it and, and get it replaced. So what do you think about this? I absolutely think the edge router is still an invaluable piece of kit, especially at the price point. We will continue to use them, and I hope that Ubiquity continues to support them. So edge router 4 kind of MIA. If anybody's got any more information on that, let me know down in the comments. If you use edge routers and you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with our affiliate links, our Patreon link. And as always, if you need IT consulting to get your edge router up and going or anything Ubiquity, any type of routing, switching, if you need storage, voice over IP, security, all those good things, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.